Good morning. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just wanted to come on really briefly. You know, this morning, whatever you're believing God for, if you're believing for something that's according to his word, God is... God is going after that word to perform it in your life. For instance, if you're looking for peace, the Bible says he is the peace that passes all understanding. He's the prince of peace. And that peace is available to you. You know, there's so many times when I know for me, when when I really believe God for something, but I wouldn't access it. You know, I know that peace is available. I know that joy is available. I know that self-control is available. I know that healing is available. I know that deliverance is available, but I would choose to stay in the situation I was in. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, maybe I'm the only one, you know, but I would choose to stay in that situation. I would choose to not access what was available to me. And I'm going to say this again. I said this the other night um, or yeah, last week, actually, on I forget which day it was Wednesday, last week, Wednesday. So a week ago, someone can come into the room I'm sitting in, wherever I'm at, or, you know, someone could come up to the oh, excuse me at the grocery store uh someone could we'll say for argument's sake go to my bank and they could give me a thousand dollars oh look well why not let's 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 let it be a million dollars okay they could just come and plunk a million dollars down and say here this is for you god bless you Unless I physically go and pick that up, it does me no good. It's just going to sit there. I don't have an interest-bearing checking account. So if they go and put that million dollars in my checking account, guess what? And I'm, I, I don't access it. It's going to just sit there. If I don't go to, you know, if I don't go to the table... Or reach in the cart that I'm pushing at the grocery store and actually pick up that money. It's not going to do me any good. I mean, I'm just saying. You know, unless I get in my car, go to my bank, 
go to the window or go to the teller and say, I want to withdraw, that money is going to sit there. Or if I don't go to the store and use my debit card that's connected to my account, it's not going anywhere. It's going to just sit there. It's available. And it's mine. But unless I go and get it, or do something that 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 results in me accessing it, it doesn't do me any good. So there's love, joy, peace, patience, temperance, self-control. There's deliverance, healing. There's um, all of these things available to every believer. But if we don't access them, how do you access them, you say? By speaking it. I have peace. I am healed. I am delivered. And then following up those statements with actions. Amen? Me and my niece still have not figured out what we're going to call this morning. The thing that I'm doing here when I come on and just give this little word of encouragement. I really hope that somebody needed to hear this today. Somebody needed to know that you have things available. And if you decide to access these things. God will follow up. And you will have those things available. All right. Well, I pray that you guys have a super stupendous rest of your day. You never know. I may or may not come on again. Have a great day.